Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Uh, in the previous episode, which well, that was a stream, we started uh, putting more slabs down in this area and started to flood the surrounding areas as well. So, The, the aim of this was that the pillagers would only be able to spawn in like, a certain area which would make the farm more efficient. However, I don't know if something has changed but the Pillagers don't seem to be attracted to the iron golem anymore. And as you can see there, there's one just standing there. So this idea may need to be refined a little bit. The only trouble is I haven't got a clue how. So I'm going to continue flooding this area and if I can find a solution I will bring you back and we can start working on it and you should get even annoying because the water source is just not for me oh, that's better you do need to do that oh well we break these down retrieve them from the river thank you Oop. and if we just block that water off and if we put these back down there hopefully And this is my point proven entirely. <coughs> They've run past the golem. Straight for me. So, yes. I'm going to continue doing this for a little while. Have a look around on the internet. See if there is a solution. And I will bring you back if I find one. So I shall carry on and see you in a little bit. Welcome back guys. Uh, <clears throat> I've had a quick look and um, the best solution I could see is to bring a few villagers over here and see if we could get it to work that way. So as you can see I've flooded that island and I've flooded all around it as well. So this is completely covered. I mean we could take these out now. They don't need to be there. There were some drowned here as well. I'm going to try and take this water out and I'm just going to... That's it, that's gone. No, come back in. Let's get rid of this piece, few pieces of dirt. There he is, he's still there. That was a zombie. He decided he was going to attack me. But yes, um, I've done all this over here. This is all for flooded and now uh, I think spawn proof I have gone and spam torches everywhere so now the only place they can really spawn is that area but as I've said they don't seem to be that interested in the iron golems anymore 
So I uh, think we shall head back to the base. And actually, before we do, I I want to try and complete a raid. So that means finding a nearby village. So I am going to go and find one, and I shall bring you back when I have found one. Right, we found the village, literally just across the ocean, and there it is. So, let's get this raid started and hopefully not die. So, there we go. Ooh, melons, I could do with them. <laughs> I think that was that way, wasn't it? Yep, there they are. First wave down. hit hard. over here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> well done Mr. Gollum. You showed him. See them, and there are three witches. Come on, Gollum, let's get them. Oh, that's a big party as well. I'm 
See if I can find some of my arrows. <laughs> I can hear you. It would be better if it wasn't night time. They're coming. I'm pretty sure there's a baby zombie there in there. I'm gonna die. Yep, and seeing as we've lost the raid, all the villagers are dead. tried, we failed. We shall try a different one, but not right now. Let's just try and get rid of these. Beast is still there. Right, run away, run away, run away, run away, and I shall catch you in a bit when I have run away far enough.
Right, we've made it back to the base safely, which is surprising. And I thought we'd go and check on the village of Buddha, see if anything's working, see if they're producing any babies. Uh, doesn't look like it at the moment. Oh. It does sound like there's some babies there, but I can't see any. So I think we may have to introduce some more. Can I reach? Chop them back over here. I think we may have to bring some more over to properly get it started. Um, because they are doing everything they need to do. They're just being very slow. We turn the rest of these into planks. We can make this wider. I think I might try and bring another two over. And I will do it the same way as I did previously, as in the form of a time lapse. Because it's going to take a while, and you don't want to see me getting frustrated trying to bring them over by boat and then bringing them up to here. Nobody wants to see that. Not unless you like uh, torturing people. Right, let's put some more torches down. I've got the boat. See what they're doing? They're harvesting and everything. I thought I could get away with just two, but I always need to get some more. So I'm going to head up back over to the village, which is just over here, if I remember correctly. And I shall be back with you very shortly. But as I said, it will be in the form of a time lapse. Watching me boat our way all the way around so I will catch you in a minute and cue the music
Welcome back guys. I've uh, just had a quick trip over to the village of Buda to see if everything's working okay. But it well, let's sleep through the night. It doesn't appear to be producing any villagers. So I'm not too sure what to do. Uh, where's what am I looking for? Some stamps. A couple of slabs. That'll do. You can go back in there. Oh, I need the hoe as well. And some carrots. Where's my hoe and carrots? <clears throat> no. There's some carrots. Hope. Oh, I don't know. Right, uh, let's go back home and fix this hole that I made to get in the meat. And fix the. what you call it? The farmland. So we can put crops down. And I think I'm going to try and replace the glass that is above the composters with slabs. So, let's get over there. Get in it. You tool. Right. Where's my hoe gun? Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you. But all the other ones changed as soon as we got him. I got them in here. Let's do your breathing. Come on. to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ever so sorry but it had to happen. I know. I, sh I shall leave you now. I do feel bad for uh, killing him, but we do need to get someone in there who's going to do some work. 
So, we're going to have to try and get another one across. But I'm not going to do this one in any form of time lapse. Once we've got him over here, I will let you know. So, you got a boat? No, I don't have a boat. Where's my boat? Right, I'm going to grab a boat, go and fetch him and bring him over, and I will catch you when that is all completed. Well, we finally managed to get another villager in tow. Now we've just got the long process of getting him back to the base. Now this might take a while. So, I, as I said before, I'm not going to do a time after this one. I've already done one with the other two that I brought back. But, uh, ooh. I just thought I'd let you know that I found uh, one with no profession and was slowly, very, very slowly taking him back. So, I shall see you when he is, when he is back at the base and in the breeder with his friends. So, I shall catch you in a little bit. Well guys we're back and we've successfully transferred this one, this villager, into the breeder. So now there are four, should be four of them. Yes, there are, keep moving around, let's go on top. Four in there now, and they are not only planting carrots now; they're also planting wheat and potatoes, which I don't know where they've got those from because I didn't give them. So fingers crossed now, this should start working. Should, and everything is crossed now. So. Just give me some love hearts. So you've all got workstations. Would I need to put any more around the outside, I wonder? And would these beds need... Eh. Let's find out. Get rid of all this glass. And see if this makes a difference. So we have a ceiling on, so nothing, nothing can get in. Don't think anything can... Do we need to keep... No, I don't keep this one. So I can't see why this shouldn't be working then. We've got the beds. We've got the workstations. So... Hopefully we can just keep an eye on it and see what's happened. They're, they're plenty of wheat, I haven't given them any wheat. I've also seen potatoes in here as well. Water's running all the way down. I've gone through this, gone through this myself, so without any armor on, so I've got death strides on my boots. I've gone through without any armor, armor on, and I have got managed to get all the way through to the end. I just don't know why they're not uh, making new babies. 
so we'll leave that running for a little while. Oh, there we go. And I am running out of time for today. Not quite, not just yet. But I'm going to build, I'm built a support structure underneath so it's not just floating in mid -air. So I'm going to head back to the base. I think I'm going to do a little bit of AFK fishing for while I sort this video out. So I shall catch you all when I've got some of it sorted. Well guys, I'm afraid I have run out of time for today. Um, we've done a fair bit, got the, well, let's take a, got the village breeder fitted with uh, four farmers now, but unfortunately they still don't appear to be breeding. They're just throwing carrots backwards and forwards to each other. Oh, I hate creepers. Right, let's fill this hole in. As best we can. That'll do for now. Notice that they're just constantly throwing carrots backwards and forward to each other. Or carrots and beetroots apparently. So I think I'm going to have to have another look into this and see what I can do about it. But, as I said, I am out of time for today. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And if you've really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I shall catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.